And you thought I was going to forget the bases. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured I'd do my bases again since I have changed a few things. I've shielded this one. This is the 87 BC Retire and Bird, my first base. I've had this since 1997. It's bought at Bubba Lewis Music for about 250 uh, definitely a relic of the 80s hair metal scene. Really sounds great though. It's got a unique kind of resonance to it now all of a sudden. It seems as it's getting older it's suddenly warming up and getting kind of these interesting vibes to it that I never had before. I don't know why. Pretty basic. Uh, it's got a precision bass pickup over here. As you can see, it's got Seymour Duncan Invader pole pieces, one volume, one tone. Um, it's a I believe an alder body. It's either alder or agathis. It's got a maple neck with rosewood fretboard, 24 frets, which is a lot for a bass. Um, and my favorite seal gear tuning machines that I like to use on basses. So. This one really fits me perfectly. I really like the way this bass feels too. I mean, it's really ergonomic, perfect for playing with my fingers because I can just sort of rest my hand on, rest my arm on one of the wings and just kind of really dig in. Can't play like Steve Harris. <laughs> Sorry, just can't. Uh, they... Still got a little bit of fret buzz at the low end. I think it has some neck issues, but for some reason they don't translate to the amplifier. So, you know, and yeah, I'm running this through the Bagheera. I know you're not supposed to run a bass through a guitar amp, but this thing's on one. I mean, what harm is it going to do? After all, it's even going through a 12 inch speaker that's actually quite pliable and designed for those really sub bass frequencies because it's a modeling amp speaker and those tend to be mates and they can handle those people with the seven strings and everything. strung up with really light strings. Pretty low action, pretty darn fast. So yeah, I like it. Yeah, this is going to be just short vid because I don't have a lot to say on the basses. I'm not really a consummate bass player. I'm just sort of a guy that uses basses for recording purposes.